So tell me about one of your books where you were identifying if it was fiction or nonfiction. Oh, okay, so you see photographs, which makes you think that's a characteristic of nonfiction. Good job. Tell me about the book you found. I think it's fiction, and it's called Very Poor Baby Elephant. I think it's fiction because elephants can't talk. Elephants can't talk, and he's talking in this book? Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh yeah, I see quotation marks. Good job. Oh yeah, they're both. So I noticed you guys are thinking about. Um, and there are some ugly ass Okay, so are you guys trying to decide if this book is fiction or nonfiction? Yeah. Okay, and so. I was thinking it was um that one was nonfiction because um even if. And they were all actually some ugly ducks. Yeah, but some of the parts Oh, so you're saying some of the parts of the book, they the characters talk? Yeah. So would that be a characteristic of fiction or nonfiction? Oh, yeah, I, I saw that. If a, if a real animal talks in a story, would that be fiction or nonfiction? Nonfiction. Which one? Fiction, because we know that ducks can't really talk. But what, can you go back to that page you were just on? What part on that page kind of made you wonder if it was fiction or nonfiction? Can you read the I, sentence? The duck sat on, on her eggs. She sat for a long time. Then one day, some ducklings came out of it. Okay, why did that kind of confuse you and make you think, huh, is that nonfiction? That's what um, ducks actually do. Okay, so that part kind of confused you, but how did you read on to figure out what it was? What did you notice, Sophie, that was so smart? And what did you notice? What were the characters doing? They were talking. Sometimes you have to really think about the story. Good job, guys.